He's got excited and his head turned. The grass is greener. And now it's all off before it was even off. Hi. You all right? I suppose so. You looked all right earlier. Sorry? That your new fella, is it? Who? That Lucas guy. I saw you leaving factory with him. And because of that, you think we are together? That I switch my feelings from one man to another just like that? Right, well, what are you saying? I'm not doing this. Have you still got feelings for me? Is that what you're saying? This is unfair, Tyrone. Please. I just need to know if there's still a chance for us. We can't do this here. Please. Come to the flat later? We can talk then. I need to tell you, I'm moving back to number nine. Just for the kids. <sighs> Fizz showed me Hope's homework book. What we did in the holidays. And, and she'd wrote this brilliant story of us staying in a caravan on the beach. With good spelling, fronted adverbials, the works. And Fizz showed you this? Yeah. Hmm. The problem is, they've done none of that. All they've done this Easter is watch their mum go to pieces. Kids should never have to lie. But none of that, none of it, changes the way that I feel about you. Just go, please. No, Alina. Just go back to your little life. No, you know what? I'm not going until I've made you understand. I'm young, I'm not stupid. Well, you like that I'm a good dad. You've already said that, so why are you punishing me now? He's a real low. Make him sweat a bit. Ruby's been wet in the bed because she's so upset. I wasn't going to tell you, but I can't ignore something like that. No, you can't. I've done that to my little girl. Me. And people say that I'm selfish and that, but yeah, I can't help myself. I see you laughing with Lucas or laughing with anyone. It kills me. I can repeat word for word every conversation that we've ever had. I, I sit and look at pictures of you for hours. Every song that I hear is like it was wrote just for you. It's like I'm going insane. I don't want to be a dirty little secret. I me either. You mean too much to me. You say that now. When it's over, you still have your life and your job and your kids. What will I have? Me. Okay, look, look. I know. I know I'm punching well above my weight. But I'm sick of doing what's right for everyone else. I want to do what's right for us. Look, I know you feel the same. I do. I'll show you how I feel. <laughs> Too much excitement for you, old man. Old man? <laughs> it's like I woke up and the world suddenly in colour. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. I saw that once in a film. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I wish you didn't have to. Well, it won't be for long. I'm just going to get the girls settled, then I'll start flat on in. I'll prove that you can trust me. You need to. You're joking me, aren't you? It's the biggest wake-up call ever. Time to take life by the scruff of the neck. Just five more minutes. 